Assalamualaikum and good morning everyone Today we are going to learn listening and also vocabulary So I hope everyone enjoying your day and start learning Okay, without further ado, let's look at your textbook, your close up before textbook and open page for special relationships okay now I want you to look at this one I'm not sure which page is that on your textbook because I don't have mine I just have the software so uh, find in your textbook listening chapter 4 special relationships a. Do these words express positive or negative emotions? Choose P for positive or N for negative. Okay. Uh, the first one is respect someone. Is it the positive or negative one? And then feel ashamed. Trust someone. Be angry. Be proud. Be jealous. Argue with. Feel let down. Be impressed. And lastly, be disappointed. Right. So for your question, uh, sorry, for your answer, I will upload in our group the question using the Google form, and I want you to submit your answer today. All right. Okay. Next, we move on to the next page. Uh, you're going to listen to four people talking, and then match them to how they feel all right i'm going to let you listen to the audio we have four speakers okay and i want you to choose whether the speaker one is feels angry or feels let down so you're going to answer this question after you listen to the audio all right okay and for speaker two whether he or she is disappointed or has a give with someone speaker three whether he or she respects someone or is proud of someone and last last uh, lastly speaker four whether he or she feels ashamed or jealous of someone okay now let's listen to the audio and uh, if you don't uh, if you're not sure or what they're talking about I will let you see this transcript after the second audio is played, right? Okay, let's listen. Speaker 1. I'm feeling really down right now. I can't talk to my school friends about my problems. They never listen to me. My teachers don't help me either, and I've failed all my exams. Speaker 2. I used to be really good friends with a girl I met at college, but recently... We've disagreed on loads of things and got angry with each other, so we don't speak to each other anymore. It's for the best, really. Speaker 3 My new boss is great. She's really easygoing, even when there's a huge problem. And I think it's amazing how she copes with everything. She's so professional. Speaker 4 I've been keen on another girl for over a month now. I've paid her loads of compliments and even asked her out. But I haven't told my girlfriend. That's bad, I know. I'm not proud of it. Alright. So, I'm going to replay the audio and I will show you the transcript. Okay? So, while listening, I want you to read the transcript. Speaker 1. I'm feeling really down right now. I can't talk to my school friends about my problems. They never listen to me. My teachers don't help me either, and I've failed all my exams. Speaker 2. I used to be really good friends with a girl I met at college. But recently, we've disagreed on loads of things and got angry with each other, so we don't speak to each other anymore. It's for the best, really. Speaker 3 
My new boss is great. She's really easygoing, even when there's a huge problem. And I think it's amazing how she copes with everything. She's so professional. Speaker four. I've been keen on another girl for over a month now. I've paid her loads of compliments and even asked her out, but I haven't told my girlfriend. That's bad, I know. I'm not proud of it. All right. So, if you look at the dance script, I think I, uh, I think you can see the clue there. So it's easy for you to answer the questions. It's very easy. Don't worry. All right. Let's move on to the next page. Now I want you to do the C and read the exam close up, then read the exam task below and think about the words you might hear. Alright, you will hear a boy called Danny and a girl called Kathy talking about different people in the family. Decide if each sentence is correct or incorrect and then after that I want you to write T for true or F for false. Okay, the first one. Danny has a good relationship with his younger brother. Is it true or false? Number two, Kathy identifies with Danny's problem. Danny's sister doesn't support him very much. Kathy's dad isn't interested in his children's problems. Kathy sometimes feels embarrassed when she talks about her problems. Katis hasn't got very good match exam results. Alright. So, this one, mm, I want you to answer in the Google form, which I will forward to you in our group later. Alright? Okay, so here are the tips for exam close up. When you're listening for similar words, you won't hear the exact words that you read in the exam question. And try to listen for similar words and phrases that describe how people feel and think. And then, lastly, read the exam questions and try to think of someone similar words before you start to listen. Alright class? Okay. This one. I want you to uh, to listen to the audio and then answer the question by using the Google form which I will forward you in our group later. Okay, let's start to listen now. Hi Danny, how are you? The last time I saw you, you weren't getting on very well with your brother and sister. Are things any better? Well, sort of. I'm speaking to my younger brother now, but he still drives me crazy when he takes things from my room and he doesn't ask me first. Yes, I totally understand how you feel. My sister often goes into my room and borrows my clothes, but she doesn't tell me. It makes me so angry. What about your sister? She's okay. I think because she's the oldest, she tries to stop my brother and me arguing all the time. In fact, she really listens to my problems and tries to help me when I'm in a bad mood. That's great. My dad is usually the one that helps us solve problems when we don't agree on things in my house. He always tries to make us sit down and talk about things in a calm way. Really? That's amazing! Yeah, but it doesn't always work. I find it difficult to say what I really want to say when I'm angry, and then I feel a bit stupid and uncomfortable. I know what you mean. Anyway, talking about something more positive, I heard you got the highest mark in the class in the maths exam. Your parents must be pleased. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I did. But I studied for hours, you know? My mum is so happy. She's been telling everyone about my results. How embarrassing. Come on, let's celebrate. Do you want an ice cream? I believe you have heard the, the audio and I want you to listen again by reading the transcript, alright? So it's easier for you.
can find a clue there on the underlying words. Hi Danny, how are you? The last time I saw you, you weren't getting on very well with your brother and sister. Are things any better? Well, sort of. I'm speaking to my younger brother now, but he still drives me crazy when he takes things from my room and he doesn't ask me first. Yes, I totally understand how you feel. My sister often goes into my room and borrows my clothes, but she doesn't tell me. It makes me so angry. What about your sister? She's okay. I think because she's the oldest, she tries to stop my brother and me arguing all the time. In fact, she really listens to my problems and tries to help me when I'm in a bad mood. That's great. My dad is usually the one that helps us solve problems when we don't agree on things in my house. He always tries to make us sit down and talk about things in a calm way. Really? That's amazing! Yeah, but it doesn't always work. I find it difficult to say what I really want to say when I'm angry, and then I feel a bit stupid and uncomfortable. I know what you mean. Anyway, talking about something more positive, I heard you got the highest mark in the class in the maths exam. Your parents must be pleased. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I did. But I studied for hours, you know? My mum is so happy. She's been telling everyone about my results. How embarrassing. Come on, let's celebrate. Do you want an ice cream? All right. So, when you finish looking, when you, when you finish watching at my video, I want you to try to imitate the spelling, the pronunciation, and try to practice yourself in speaking, all right? Using the correct pronunciation. Okay. So it seems like we have to okay, we reached the end of our lesson for listening and I hope you finish your task by today and happy studying. Thank you.